اتاق لانکمر یک پارنرون امار بدانی یه دسترد کلان کم نارگ یک بار آل مدیک کنه خوش که ایسان کم تو تو نواکت مر پارنر تر نرون یه اندیگی یه گه تین آل در آت نه تر اینچو آخوتونه بور اولیش دخیره اسپس کدستنگ دروچ زاوات نر و کان گفگاین نوین دروچ ماست اینچ پسیرنس گانکر رو میچ کوردزه یه منکال کاشالر وین ایت سه و یهت در این هوی بسه، اینچ پس این گانکس گابری، انسیال شپات از کسان که دیگا، از شپات کشان نگن کردم نه در آت نه در آت نه. The word of the Lord as so hoska says, as pes kse. The Lord is my shepherd. در این هوی بسه. If that's true. That would make us cheap. If the word of the Lord is true, and the word and the Lord is our shepherd, that would make us sheep. And as sheep. We, uh, we accumulate these qualities that might be a little different than what we think. Sheep don't have ways of defending themselves. They would rely on the shepherd to do so. Sheep don't have ways to clean themselves. They would rely on the shepherd to do so. Sheep drink from water that is mostly still. They rely, they rely on the shepherd to be able to lead them to those paths, to those Sorry, to those still waters. If the Lord is our shepherd, we are sheep. And as sheep, we need to live very differently than what people think. And last week, we started talking about that a little bit. And we compared the sheep, of course, to the Christian. And uh, we went through a few verses. Uh, so today, we're going to continue that. And we continue at Psalm 23. Verse. Where were we? Three. Yerot. And what it says is, He guides me along the right paths for His name's sake. Remen hokis kenoroke kese yev anvana hamar artarutyan jampaneru mech garash norte inzi. And then the editors of the Bible put a verse here. Yev hos hamar me. They put verse four. Chorot. With a period after the soul. Yep. A period after soul. End uh, of the sentence. And then it continues. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. If we kept these two verses separate, we would not see the actual meaning, what, what the psalmist is trying to say in this section. See, we might think that, oh, there's one path that's the right path, and that's the one that gives God, glorifies God's name. It's for His name's sake. And then we have another uh, path that feels like we're going through the valley of the shadow of death. 
Եվ ուրիշ ճամփամը կսի ասոր մասին, որ մահվան շուկին ծորի մեջ հալ ուրիշ ճամփամն է։ What seems like to be two separate paths in reality is only one. Երկու դարբեր ճամփաներ կսեն աս համարը, բայց իրականության մեջ մեկ ճամփա է։ Remember, if we are sheep, եթե հիշենք, որ եթե մենք իրավ ոչխար ենք, then in what world do sheep make decisions? որ աշխարի մեջ է, որ ոչխարներ իրենք իրենց որոշումը կարնեն։ In what world is a sheep's decision, if they, let's say they make a decision, in what world is a sheep's decision valuable? Որ աշխարի մեջ է, որ եթե ոչխարները որոշում արնեն, ադիկայ ալ կարևոր որոշում մնեն։ Here's the thing, with sheep and the Lord as your shepherd, there is only one decision that matters. Ոչխարներով և իրենց հովիվով մեկ որոշում գավոր կարևոր է։ And that is if you decide you want the Lord as your shepherd or something else as your shepherd. Եվ ադալ ամեն է կարևոր մասը այդևոր գուզես, որ դերը կոհովի վդլա, եթե ոչ ուրիշ մեկը։ After that, it makes no difference what you decide. Ատկե վերջ ադ որոշում է, վետ դարպերություն չներ ուրիշ ինչ որոշում կարդում է։ Because you've locked in the Lord as your shepherd and he's the one leading you in paths that glorify his name and in paths that lead you through the valley of the shepherd. Ուրեմ են, եթե որոշեցիր, որ դերը կովի վդալա, ինքը պիտի առաշնորդ � համարներ գդվին ուր որ կվորոշումը պիտի անցնել։ Decisions might be made about what type of friends you have, who you're going to marry, what school you go to, what job you're going to have, what house you should buy, etc. 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 Կարավոր որոշումներ գյանքի ինտացքին վես, որ ուն հետ պիտի ամուսնանաս ինչ դուն կնես, ինչ կործը աշխադիս, այս տեսակ որոշում։ And then you might get a card in it and the card says congratulations or we're praying for you, what's going, whatever's going on, Jeremiah 29:11. Օրեմն, Եսայի 29:11-ը երրորդ համարը, որ գսե Եվ ես այի 29-ը դասնմեք, ամենուն դեսիրները կնքված, երը միասալ, սիրա եվ, սխալ մարկար են է, դարպեր մարկար է, երը միասալ, 29-ը դասնմեք, երը միասալ, մարկար է ուտյուն, 29-ը էրորդ կլուխը և դասնմեք էրորդ համարը, որ գսե խորած խորուրդներս կիտեմ գսեդերը։ Անոնք ծեր հուսացած վախճանը ծեզի դալու համար խաղաղության խորուրդներ են եվ։ Who do you think God was talking to? Որուն գխոսի հոս աստված։ Was he talking to somebody that was right about to get married and kind of nervous, I hope this is the right thing I do, I don't know what's going to happen, and I hope my decision is correct. Արդյոք մեգումը, որ գպատրաստվի ամուսնանալու, շիտակ որոշում գարնեմ, շիտակ անցին հետ բիտի ամուսնանամ, եվ այլ են ադանք մեգումը։ Or maybe somebody going off to college and they're like, I really don't know if this is the right school for me, I hope this is the right school, I hope this is the will of God that might get thrown in there sometimes. Եվ մեգումը, որ որոշումը God is speaking to a people that were ripped from their homes. Խոսեր աստված ժողովորդին, որ իրենց դունեն հանված կացածեին։ And they were forced to walk along the desert for hundreds of miles to a home that was not theirs. Եվ ստիպված էին անապատին մեջ են հայուրավոր մղոններ երթալ դեղմը, իպրտե դունմը, որ իրենցը չեր։ Where their family members were killed in front of their eyes. Իրենց ընդանեկան անդամները իրենց աչկերուն արջև մերցված էին, իրենց կաղակը գործանված էր, ամեն ամեն է կեշը նույնից, աստուծո դաջարը, աստու դունը մինչև կերին այրվածը։ Ուրեմ են, իրենց ադենը մանավանդ, ադանք բարձ շենք մչեր ադիկա աստո դաջարը, ուր որ աստված մեջ գաբրեր։ Իրենց աչկովը դեսան, որ իրենց աստված եպ ադաջարը չի գա, աստված ալ չի գա։ Ուրեմ են, այս համարը ու Ես ծեզի հետ եմ։ And I have plans for you. 
և ձեզի համար ձրակիրներ ունի ձրակիրներ որ ձեզի հաչողության ձրակիրն ձեզի ճարիկ փերելիք չեն you see when the lord is your shepherd եւ որ դերը քու հովի բդե he's looking at the big picture ինք ավելի այդ մեծ պատկերը գտես he's he's hoping that you come to him he's hoping that you live in eternity with him. Եվ գուհուսա որ իր հետը ապրիս, ուզե որ հավիտենականությունը իր հետ անցնես։ The day-to-day decisions, the month-to-month, the year-to-year, even the life-changing decisions that you can come up with will not will pale in comparison to whether you choose the Lord as your shepherd or you choose something else as your shepherd. Որևէ քո օրե օր անցուսած որոշումները կամ շապատե շապատ կամ ամիսի ամես, ադին ադոն ոչ ինչ են այդ որոշումից որ դերը քո հովի բդե։ Same thing happens in Romans 8:28. նույն համարը գտեսնենք հռոմեացիս 8:28 We get the same idea and again this is talked about whether there are specific things that will take care of the person uh it gets used with decisions that are made don't worry and this gets used when when bad things happen please if somebody goes through something horrible do not give him Romans 8:28 Մեգը եթե դժվար բարակայի դժվար մասը անցնի այս հռոմեացիս 8:28-ը մի տակ Please don't. This is talking about a bigger picture. Aveli meds patkeri hamar gkhosyasi. This is talking about how sin ravaged the earth. Inchpes meghk gvnas gpe. And how God came and rescued us. Yev inchpes astvats yegav yev gazader. It's it's bigger picture than just oh you you lost a loved one or oh you're sick or you're hurt. He is talking about your eternal safety. Uremen mezi voshte ait orva batahazin hab aveli meds հավիտենական այդ ապահովության մասին է որ կխոսի When the Lord is your shepherd you have no need to worry about these minute decisions in your life cuz you can focus on the main decision that I mean, you're for, led by the shepherd Եվ որ դերը հովի բդե այդ բզդիկ օրվան որոշումները ավելի նվազ գտվին մեծ պատկերն է կարևորը եւ որ դերը քու հովի բդե Follows up with something interesting too կարևոր հետաքրական մասն է Charnage. Your rod and your staff they comfort me. Kutsubet u kavazanet anonk zis ke mkhitaren. A rod and a staff these are pieces of wood. Paide gedorneren asom. They're just Shuba. fancy words for short piece of wood and long piece of wood. Yev mega garj taxtage gedormene mus aveli yergain gedorn. But in the hands of a shepherd they become tools. բայց հովիվին ցերկի մեջ այսօն քորձիկներ գտարնա Not only tools they become efficient tools Ոչ թե բարձ քորձիկներ հապա օկտագար քորձիկներ If you gave me a staff and a rod I would not know how to use it Ինձի եթե ցուպ մկավազան մտաս պիտի չգիտնամ ինչպես քորձած I would use it as I would any piece of wood Ո՞ւ է ուրիշ տախտակի բես ես ալբիտ քորձած Paper weight կամ իբր ձանրություն մտնեմ փանի մբրա Door stop դա թուրը չկոծվի սելով ադոր մտի թնեմ Anovra henim may poke someone with meguma zarne masbes I I don't know how to use them when a shepherd has them though they can use them for the betterment of the sheep Tsuba kavazana yes korzadzele chem kider pats yete hoviva adi korzadze ochkharnerun lavutyan hamar The rod gets literally translated as a club Tsuba iper rod is a zarnelik pamne Sure okay Club. Okay, so you if you use it's it's like something you use when you want to beat something with. Pamme yete guzes zezel zarnel adiga ge korzadz. A lion comes, a bear comes, any wild animal, any ferocious animal that wants to take the sheep, the the shepherd has a club in his hand, you just beat that animal until it runs away. Yete vairi gentani mka at kavazana hovi ve ge korzadz e iper zarnelu bashtpanelu. The staff is a little different. It, it has a crook at the end of it, a crook like a curve. Ուրեմն ցուպն ալ քիչ մտարբեր է ավելի երկայնի եւ վերջավորության բզդիկ կլոր մասն ալ գա And you can use it to kind of hook onto the the upper body of a sheep to kind of direct them into a different path եւ գնաս գործածել ադի ոչխարին վիզեն ծևով մփռնելու եւ առաջնորդելու շիտակ տեղը Here's something interesting I found usually staves were not just crooked at the end they were also forked at the bottom Ուրեմն ցուպը քդանք որ այդպես միան վերջին մասը կլոր չէ հապա վարի մասն ալ բստիկ ասան երկու սուր մասեր ունի And I learned that that was used for snakes Եվ ադի գործազեին օծի թե գործազեին When snakes come and they I mean they obviously don't eat the sheep but they will bite them and, and hurt them Եվ, and the shepherd doesn't want that Եվ եթե օծը մոդենալ ոչխարներուն չուզեր հովի որ խայթեն անոնց 
Who's ever used no Kavazan? Who's ever used the a, a club to try to hit a snake? Of course, it's like, it's like that game Whack a Mole. Whack a Mole? I don't know how these <laughs> The game where you have the little things that pop up and you hit it or you try to hit it and they go back down under the hole and they hide themselves. It's, it's hard. You can't really do it. So, what they use, they use the pointy end of the staff to pick up the snake, chuck it away. Throw him away, get rid of him. In the hands of a shepherd, the rod and a staff are tools. When the Lord is your shepherd, the rod and a staff comfort you. They are satisfying. They are something you can rely on. Let's keep going. Verse 5. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Now, the first thing that popped up in my head when I was thinking about this, I, th- I thought of a banquet. As many types of banquets out there, of course. But the type of banquet I thought of was an Armenian wedding reception. We might be familiar with this, considering we are Armenians, most of us, and most of us have been to receptions of weddings. If you have not, a quick disclaimer, the amount of food that is provided at these receptions is unthinkable. Even for me, it's too much food. And you know, you, you that know me know I eat a lot. And I even get to a point where I say, I can't do anymore. You have beaten me. Plate is pushed away, napkins thrown on a plate, I'm done. White flag. I, there, I mean, there's so much food, and it's really funny because usually the places that we have Armenian receptions, the kitchen is really small. Where are they pulling this out of? It just keeps coming and keeps coming. coming. When the Lord is your shepherd, he sets a banquet for you. He prepares a never-ending feast that you never have to worry about, oh no, what will happen if I run out of food? Now, of course, this is talking about the spiritual aspect. He will take care of us, and Matthew talks about that, that if he doesn't, if he takes care of the birds of the field, why wouldn't he take care of us? So he will provide the physical. But this is talking about spiritual, where we are overwhelmed with spiritual science. And all that happens in the presence of my enemies. Who's ever eaten with their enemy? Probably unlikely. I see one hand in the back. Probably unlikely to do that. Because when you sit down with somebody, it's almost like you need to trust them. So that, that when you get up from your plate, they don't unscrew the salt shaker and leave it in front of you. Or sneeze in your food and then give it to you. You don't usually eat with your enemies, so you don't really think about this. But when the Lord is your shepherd, not only is there a feast prepared, we talked about this last week, you are invincible. You can't be touched. 
And again, we talked about this last week. This is not only physical because we can be touched physically. But, but we read that the Word of God says nothing can separate us from the love of God. And Jesus reminded us again in the book of John that the evil one cannot pluck you out of yep. my hand. When the Lord is your shepherd, you eat a banquet. And you eat it in front of your enemies. You anoint my head with oil. Let's go into this one and we'll end with this one. Finish the rest of the psalm next week. I saw where Chatsaneng, I saw Van Hamar, Yev Salmosa, Sharnagen, Kal Viragi. When when you think of anointing your head with oil, yet the Horis Kalukat Ozes Yurov, what's the first thing that comes up in your mind? Mit get Arachim Pani in Shuka. This is written in Psalms. Salmosi Mechkarvaze. It's written by David. I mean, the first thing that came up in my mind was when David was anointed with oil. Right? I mean, is that a safe assumption? Can I make that assertion? Uh, David was anointed with oil, and when you're anointed with oil, it meant that you're going to be the next king. And, and even David, David would call himself, and he would call Saul, who was also anointed with oil, he would call them anointed. In, in Hebrew, anointed was Meshua. Meshua meant anointed. But it's also the root word of Messiah. There's this level of importance put on whoever was anointed by God. But remember, the Lord is my shepherd. We are the sheep. It's different when a sheep's anointed with oil. Check out what Jesus says. He said it in Matthew 6, 17. He was talking about when you would fast and you would do it in front of people. And, and he says, when you fast, put oil on your head. Why? Why would you anoint your head with oil when you're fasting? Well, this comes almost to a cosmetic dealing. Oil is good for the skin. It's good for the hair. And, but remember, we're sheep. When a shepherd anoints a sheep's head with oil, it, it was meant to defend against pests, bugs. There are these things called, there are these things called I think they're called nasal flies. Uh, nasal fly. All right. Nose fly. Kitty, uh, John Jer, Gam John, yeah. Uh, they're, 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 uh, she, she, she hated them, and there's a certain time, it's usually in the summer, that these flies would fly around. And as the name suggests, they look for the noses of sheep. And they do that so that they can go in, plant their eggs, and leave. If you're disgusted, you should be. That's, that's gross. And the eggs that would hatch, of course, are larvae, they're little worms, and they would burrow themselves into the skin and the meat of the head of the sheep. You can imagine anything burrowing into your head is very uncomfortable. 
and when you're a sheep where you can't really talk and you can't really do anything about it, it's very uncomfortable. You, you might see sheep shaking their heads up and down, flapping their ears, shaking it back and forth, rubbing it against bark or rocks on the ground. It goes so far that some sheep even kill themselves. Another thing that can happen if, if they don't die. The sheep could burrow into the back of the sheep's, uh, sorry, the worms burrow into the back of the sheep's eyes. And, and blind them. It's awful, it's terrible. Until the shepherd comes and has a mixture that's made with majority of oil. Pours and anoints the sheep's head with oil. And it is refreshing for the sheep. Not only does the coolness of the oil help them in the summer, but it prevents the flies from coming into the sheep's head. Galatians talks about the difference between works of the flesh and works of the spirit, fruits of the spirit. And tells us, and tells us that when you're invested in the flesh, and I'm not listening here, you can read it on your own, but when you're invested in the flesh, you live a certain way. It's obvious what the works of the flesh are. But when you allow for the Spirit to invest in you, when the Spirit burrows into your body, the fruit of the Spirit, our love, Joy, peace, kindness, patience, goodness. When the Lord is your shepherd, he anoints your head. He keeps you protected. And not only that, he makes it so that you can live the best that you can live. Which is not the works of the flesh. Rather, it is the works of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit, a gift given by the Holy Spirit to our lives. I think we can end here. Amen. Let's pray. And go out and we'll continue next week. Amen. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this opportunity we have to be together. I thank you for everything you've done. Amen. For sending your son to die for our sins. While we were still sinners. For providing us a way out. One, one we do not deserve. Lord, I pray that everyone here will accept you as their shepherd. And next week as we conclude this psalm that has been given to us as a gift, let the message of the psalm continue in our lives. And let us live a life that glorifies you. Now I pray that you may have the power to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen.